What's your name and your pin name? Uh, C. L. Edwards. So you were so you were a Muslim last year, and you recently converted to Christianity. Yes, actually, I've, I've converted six months ago. Now, um, what about your friends in the neighborhood? You said you lived in Dearborn, but you recently moved. Was that due to the conversion? Um, actually, I attended a, a mosque in this area. Yeah. Uh, very big mosque. Lots of people. I knew everyone there. I knew a lot of Muslims in the whole metropolitan area. Basically, the same thing. They were all shocked. And uh, some of them came to try to convince me to come back to Islam, and some of them shunned me. Yeah. So the leaders of the Islamic community have told them to shun me, not, speak, not to speak to me anymore. Now how does that make you feel when you get rejected just because you change your belief structure? I understand why. Yeah. Because they're afraid that I may pull someone else out of the Islam. So I, I understand perfectly why. Yeah. You know, And it doesn't really shock me because I understand the mentality. I understand the belief system. Now, if you can explain that belief system, if you could explain that belief system to our listeners who may not understand it, and why that's common practice, okay. and how and how that doesn't coincide with our constitution and our government and our culture here in America. Well, Islam is not like a religion like any other religion, right? It's not just a belief, and maybe you do a few rituals. It's a complete code of laws. Sharia yeah. is based on Quran and Sunnah. And in the, in the Sunni branch of Islam, you have four schools of thought that interpret in the Sunni law. So as a Muslim, as a devout Muslim, your whole entire life is ordered and structured according to Sharia. Yeah. So someone like me, according to Islam, I'm supposed to be put to death. So someone like me, according to Islam, I'm supposed to be put to death. I, I doubt that the average Christian thinks that way. But if you take that type of thinking to its to its very conclusion, that's where you're going to end up. You Absolutely. end up in a place where you dehumanize other people. You don't see them as human because they don't got the same God as me. They don't have the same they, they don't have the same creator as me. Were they created by a different God? So they're they're dehumanized. So now we can do whatever we want to those people and we can treat those people however we want. And we see you can see this on this program. There are certain individuals that come on here and they're extremely disrespectful. Yeah, and it, yeah. we see this in the whole Islamophobia thing that goes on, where people disrespect them, where people speak to other people and treat other people how they would never want anyone to treat them, despite the fact they say they believe in Jesus, the Son of Mary, peace be upon him. When he, the Son of Mary, peace be upon him, in their own Bible says, Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, uh, you know, the, the clear distinction is that Allah tells us in the Quran not to attack other people's gods and so forth, lest they attack Allah, you know, in the prophet, peace be upon him. And, and in, the, in the Sunni branch of Islam, you have four schools of thought that interpret in the Sunni law. So as a Muslim, as a devout Muslim, your whole entire life is ordered and structured according to Sharia. Yeah. So someone like me, according to Islam, I'm supposed to be put to death. So someone like me, according to Islam, I'm supposed to be put to death. No, the only reason I'm not put to death is because I'm in America. If I was in a Muslim country, I would be arrested. Yeah. Uh, you know. So for them, the only next best thing they can do here in America, because they're not going to kill me, is to shun me and not speak to me. Yeah. So, so uh, it's very antagonistic towards Christianity. The whole thing is built on antagonism to Christ, the whole idea of Christ. They disavow any idea that Jesus could be God, that Jesus is the Son of God, that the, God the Father is a Father at all. Yeah. The Trinity, the Bible, nothing. It's all a, an opposite op opposition to Christianity. I just wanted to bring that up, and maybe you want to touch on it before you go into this topic, uh, Jesus, the Muslim. and um, Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it, it is very strange. Um, is very convoluted because if we if we had a Christian here who held that particular view and we were to offer a person a number of questions, I, I almost guarantee you they will become uh, be fumbled completely. So for them, the only next best thing they can do here in America, because since they're not going to kill me, is to shut me and not speak to me. Yeah. So so uh, it's very antagonistic towards Christianity. 
the whole thing is built on antagonism to Christ, the whole idea of Christ. They disavow any idea that Jesus could be God, that Jesus is the Son of God, that the God the Father is a Father at all. Yeah. The Trinity, the Bible, nothing. It's all an opposite op opposition to Christianity. So what can what can we as Americans do to keep this intolerance, hatred, and bigotry from growing within our culture as it is so so added so blatant here in Dearborn, Michigan? I think education, because yeah. most people don't know. You know, most people either don't know or they just don't care. They're yeah. busy with their daily lives. So this is how when things aren't when you don't have the light shine on something. It, it grows without people realizing what's going on. Yeah. But if you educate people and put the information out there, the people can see what's going on, and people can judge for themselves, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Best of luck to you with your life, and it's going to be an interesting one for you for sure. Yeah. And keep up the good work. Thank you. All right. Can I ask you a question? Have you seen any of your friends or former friends? Yeah, I've seen plenty of people. And what's have they come over to you or? No, uh, I, I've seen them. They haven't really seen me. And I, I doubt if they, they even expect me to come down here. So. Right.